just drove the 2015 Acura NSX and now we're like in the time machine. In a time machine, <laughs> yes. That's Going uh, back to what, one, uh, 1991? 1991 and uh, let's see how well we connect to the past. Okay, let's see. Power seats, I mean they were available back then. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, regular key, not like, uh, yeah. oh this is the manual, this is great. Was this a car original on the manual only? Manual in automatic. Okay. So when the offer the automatic uh, actually was quite unusual. So a lot of history with this car, right? Yeah. The brake is completely off. Uh, where are the emergency lights? Uh, Sorry. Oh, okay. Sorry. Things have changed out a little bit in, in the past <laughs> few years, huh? Many things change, but what I love is uh, the basics, the fundamentals yeah. of, of a sports car should kind of envelop the driver. For the window control? Sh should be. It says auto on the switch and then up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. We're good. Okay. So this car, uh, for its time, it was very revolutionary, but uh, what was the horsepower? What was the engine? What were the specs of this car? So this particular vehicle, that originally it was a 3 liter, V6, yeah. this is a 3.2 liter, and originally 270 horsepower, and the, at the, this is one of the later versions, so 290 horsepower, so less than 300 horsepower. So almost half of what the new one is. Yes. But still obviously very powerful for it is. Yes. And, yes. and uh, first thing that I noticed is that it, also, it still has like the same image, like the same kind of feeling of, of space because of the, the really really wide uh, windshield and the columns are, are the thing like in the new one so we really worked hard to bring this forward visibility and uh, really exposing the fenders the blister fenders yeah. so you can uh, really interact with your desired driving line it's amazing so I'm glad you feel that same. No, it, it is exactly the same feeling. I mean, obviously in a very, very modern way in the new car, but this is exactly, I mean, you feel like you're almost like on the top of the car and uh, it really feels great. I think also when we talk about this car, that the way the seat works still is in conjunction with the center console yeah. and the door. So. Uh, some drivers keep their feet in narrow, other drivers tend to kind of widen their lower legs. Yeah. It gives them a nice stable support in the cockpit. So this car, the original uh, NSX, NSX ran from what, 91 to when? 91 to 2005. So oh, that was kind of a long run. 14 years. Yeah. Uh, most of the sales, we sold 14,000 over mm -hmm. 14 years, but more than half of those sales were in the first five years. Okay, so at the end it died down, I guess it got to yeah. a lot of competition, I guess. The, and the, the competition did respond, and also in 1991, the yen to dollar ratio was changing rapidly. So the Japanese economy had kind of a, a bubble. Okay. Uh, and so the price moved from $60,000 at launch, but because by the exchange rate, the exchange rate, it actually went up in the last year was uh, over eighty-five thousand so. dollars. Yeah. So with this card now it's a collector's item. Okay. Yeah, this is a, we have to take care of this. No, absolutely. <laughs> so the, who 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 owns this car? This is owned this by is, a company. This is owned by American Honda, and yeah. uh, it's a two thousand four. So it's, it's one of the the last eight, the last last year and. Uh, this vehicle and also we have a, a Zanardi, a 99 Zanardi, which is yeah. a lightweight version. We have that as our team reference car. Yeah. So obviously being inspired by this original generation, uh, what are the cues that, that you, 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 team, you and your team like brought into the new one? Well, you start with the, with the cockpit and we already talked about the forward visibility. Uh, we really want to have the cockpit, we say, kind of disappear. Yeah. as you drive more and more, especially the speed escalates. Uh, then in terms of uh, the way the vehicle supports you in the seat and the door and the center console, but we also talk about, we still want the ability to, to, to move, move around. To, to yeah. move around. So I, I know your 
on the track, yeah, you want even more lateral support. But this, remember, NSX is designed to be a road car. Yeah. So then finally, with, in terms of the key controls, the steering. So the the, uh, the chassis should talk to you. You know. Yeah. And we we like to say it's talking from the rear axle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so completely. The, the rear suspension is moving the car laterally, and you're 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 adjusting the front tires, but the whole car is moving as one piece. And then finally with the throttle and the brakes, so the 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 engine in this car, it has a yeah, it's it's free revving, but it has a very broad torque curve. Yeah. So one of the keys is this vehicle, the horsepower is not so high. Yeah, it had a very broad torque curve. And the torque curve continues to rise up. So the traction. So when you gain you, speed, you can still push you, it correct, harder and harder. harder. And of course, it's the feeling of the engine behind you just pushing you down the road. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So we really tried to mimic that. Of course, the way we did it is different. Now, now taking you have advantage exactly of the electric electronic, motor. Yeah. So, um, so yeah. So these are kind of the basic uh, spirit of the original NSX, and we carried it forward. Well, it's a great job. I like it really. I mean, I always, when when we come to these events and we we talk about the modern version of an older car, it's a, I think it's great to be able to see in the past and see where things have evolved. And like, I mean, this is 2004, so it's not that old. But things have changed a lot in the past uh, 10 years in the automotive industry, and really quick. Huh? It's it's and after after the uh, economic yeah. issue, it's rapidly coming out of that now. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah. I know in, in, in the United States, many uh, people are retiring, and so they continue to want to consume their favorite products from the past yeah. in a new way. Exactly. So, so the new the new version has a you, you talked before uh, 800 units uh, a year for the U.S. Right? Yes, 800 units for the U.S. So it's going to be a very rare, special product. And I think that's very important for the customer. So the customer wants, this, this is not only fulfilling their childhood dream, but yeah, from a business standpoint, they don't want to lose a lot of money. Yeah, exactly. So. It was very interesting on the drive uh, back from, uh, from the truck here. Uh, a lot of people obviously gave us a thumbs up. <laughs> And some wanted to talk to us, ask about the price and all that, which uh, it's uh, 156 or it, uh, the base yeah. price, yeah. right? Yes. And like some people were like kind of surprised, but like most of the people said, "Well, yeah, sign me up for one." Yeah. I mean, people yeah. want it. Yeah. yeah, it's it's a very uh, accessible price point, considering all of the performance, all the technology. You, yeah. know, you are really looking out into the future, driving this product around. It's, yeah. So it's neat. We started just talking here. It's a connection to the past yeah. here, 25 years ago. But uh, it, we're looking to the future. So there's really no other vehicle in its space that, that offers yeah, that, kind that of, combination. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> covering 25 
five years of uh, history here with Acura. 